everybody, Ziv Simon here, I'm the creator of Surgical Master. Surgical Master is a surgical training system for doctors all over the world that would like to learn how to perform procedures that are number one safe, they are highly predictable with emphasis on aesthetics, with the minimal amount of complications and stress, and I think we all love that. One of the problems that I see with dentist training and surgery, taking hands-on courses or other, other uh, programs, is that they get very easily overwhelmed. And the reason being, courses typically, by nature, have an overload of information, including mine. The human brain cannot grasp all of this, all of this information, adding to some of the pre-existing hesitation and fear. It's really not conducive to learning and also to actually performing and implementing these procedures in your practice. So what I found out after many, many years of teaching is that it's important to keep some sort of continuity in education. It's important to learn, actually forget it, and then relearn it again. That's how the human brain works. I found out that uh, the doctors that are continuing to learn, the doctors that keep in touch, doctors that are learning through videos, listening to audio, reading some written material, looking at articles, through hands-on, through personal experience, these are the ones that will uh, really start mastering the surgery. I found out that it doesn't take 20 years to be good at surgery. It can take six months to a year to feel really comfortable. And that's assuming you're performing surgery every day. It can take between a year, two to three years to become really good at it. Again, assuming you're performing surgery on a regular basis. And it'll take up to four, five, six years to be really excellent. So we're not talking about 20 years, we're not talking about 10,000 hours, we're talking about consistently performing surgery, making the necessary adjustments of your mistakes, constantly documenting and analyzing what you, what you did, and that uh, helps you to, to get better. So what you need to do next is start screening your patients. Start documenting your patient's condition with a camera, take a lot of photographs, but don't book the patient for a procedure yet. Start analyzing the deficiencies, start understanding what bothers the patient, get additional knowledge, analyze these photographs, start to plan your procedures, plan even your flap design, get additional information, train additionally more, and then at the next appointment, you can talk to your patient and explain what treatment is necessary, you can talk about the benefits, you can talk about some of the risks that are involved with the procedure, you can have a whole lot more confidence conveying this to your patient and you'll see your patient are actually going to schedule the procedure for the next time around. So I hope you found this video useful and valuable in giving you the first step on how to incorporate surgery in your practice. Feel free to share it with other dentists and also go to my website surgicalmaster.com Sign up for weekly videos and other promotions. Start getting more knowledge, more training that is specifically to your patient's need. And I look forward to sharing more from Surgical Master. See you soon.